What's up guys, it's Daniel here from Daniel Texas, my predicted lineup for Man City versus Chelsea in the Premier League. Let's get into my lineup. In goal, I'm going to go with Jordi Petrovic, who didn't have that much to do against Crystal Palace. Unfortunately, let in that screamer from Jefferson Lerma. But right back, I'm going to go with Malagusto. He was absolutely outstanding in the last game, and he needs to keep his run going. I think he'd come off a bit early in the Palace game due to tiredness. The two centre-backs, I'm going to go with Axel Di Sassi and Levi Colwell. Corwell did come off the bench in the game through Silver again injury. Di Sassi was great again. Those scenes late in the game and actually Di Sassi was just jumping in the crowds. It's absolutely great to see. At left back I'm going to go with Ben Shurwell. I think he had one of his better games recently against Crystal Palace. He had a lot of space on the left hand side. Tried to create stuff attackingly. And defensively I think he was pretty decent. The two defensive midfielders I'm going to go with Moises Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez. Every game I feel they're actually improving. Enzo now putting goals into his game which is great to see he's now on seven for the season that finish was just so calm and composed just to send it into the top corner on the right i'm going to go with cole palmer back against his old club who he did score against in november scored the 94th minute penalty okay, i'm going to go with carney chukameka since he has returned from injury he hasn't played many minutes which is unfortunate because he was such a key component at the start of the season when nkuku was injured you thought he'd be used a lot more. On the left, I'm going to go with Christopher Nkunku. Another player also, since he's come back from injury, hasn't played many minutes. So this is the time to play him against one of the big sides. And up front, I'm going to go with Nicholas Jackson. Since he's returned from AFCON, I think he's actually been a lot better than he was just before AFCON. He went in a bit of a drought and was a bit poor in front of goal. I think he's in, I think that time on the bench has probably helped him play at AFCON. So let's get into the opposition side of things. So opponents Man City in their last game, they won 3-1 away at Copenhagen in the Champions League. Goals through Kevin De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva and Phil Foden. Puts them in control in the first leg of the round of 16 tie. In the last five games, they managed to beat Everton 2-0 at the weekend, a brace through Erling Haaland. Before that, they beat Brentford away 3-1. Before that, they beat Burnley at home 3-1. Before that, they beat Spurs away in the FA Cup 1-0, the first time they've ever scored at the new White Hot Lane. And then before that, they won 3-2 away at Newcastle. Their top scorer is Erling Haaland, who's got 21 goals and 6 assists in 25 games with 98 minutes per goal. That is outstanding, which says he scores a goal every game. He had a little bit of a drought against us until, obviously, the last game when he scored two. One was a penalty that shouldn't have even been one, as you know the ref was. It's an issue with the AC. That'll give you a massive clue and a man... Who hates Chelsea? Danish player is Phil Foden, who's got 15 goals and 10 assists in 35 games, with 180 minutes per goal. In Haaland's absence, because Foden's been the one to carry C. As score I'm going to go with Manchester City 1, a goal through Erling Haaland. Chelsea 2, goal through Cole Palmer, against the Soul Club, and a goal through Axel Di Sassi. Twitch is video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with friends, see